Welcome to my solo journey on Vanilla Rust. My first day on the server had been the usual grind. Farming scrap, basic PvP, you guys know the drill. Why are you running? But today, I wanted to do something a little bit differently. I wanted to start a tea farm. Now the base that I was building, designed by Swifty, and you should definitely check him out in the description below, he's got some great builds and he's a very deserving channel. Well, his base design came with quite a unique little feature. And that feature, well, you guys are just going to have to wait around to find out what that is. But trust me, this ended up being one of my favorite bases to live in ever. So you're not going to want to miss it. And like with any rust wipe, there are always the people that want to tear you down. So sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy. First up on my list of things to do was run sewer branch. So I grabbed my green card and fuse and prayed that it was unlooted. Okay sewer, don't do me dirty. Oh come on man, how many times? Yeah, it's, it's looted. God damn it. Should I just wait? I think I might just wait here. I don't really know how the respawns work, and so I sat in the corner of the room, hoping that the crates would refresh. And while scrolling through my phone, I got caught a little off guard. Oh, fuck! What the... How am I alive right now? And let's just say, I kicked the hornet's nest. Oh no, I hear more. Bro, I was just scrolling through Twitter. Wow, I had a big frame drop on that first guy. Oh no! Woo! What a beamer! Night night. Oh, laptop gaming is no fun, man. I'm getting I'm getting these frame drops all the time. I need to get out of here. Oh no, there's another! Ah! Oh, I'm so dead. Dodge and weave. There's another! Oh man! I'm dead. There's no way! My butt's clenched. I don't know how I'm alive right now. That that shouldn't be a thing. <sighs> Luckily, I just made it back home alive. And that mixing table was exactly what I needed to get the farm rolling. Well, that was an eventful start. More so than I'd hoped. I just wanted to get a blue card. <laughs> Well, at least now I can put down this mixing table. One step closer to the tea farm. What is going on outside my base? Would you guys politely leave? Kind of ruining the vibe here. Man, some people. Although I hadn't actually built my farm yet, I still wanted to grab some berries to craft myself a wood tea. A lot of people underestimate the power of just picking up berries and crafting basic tea. They can save you a lot of time, especially when it comes to farming wood. One wood tea coming up. Kinda like turning the server into a 1.5x, I love it. This can be my berry box. now. That's suppressed. 
Oh yeah? What have you got for me? Got you some presents. Let's have a look. Oh, what a hero. Thank you, man. <laughs> My neighbor's helping the cause. Second ladder hatch down. What is going on over there? Oh wow, one of the big bases is getting raided. Don't mind me. Just gonna be building my farm. I honestly love this design so much, man. I think this farm is one of the coolest things, like, ever in a base. I hope it looks good. So that is where I can put the lanterns on. And this here is the little uh, locker. These raindrops are so annoying. And this is where my vending machine will go, where I will hopefully eventually sell tea, if all goes to plan. I'm gonna stick my workbench there. Okay, now I need to learn the chain link fence. Where is it? And I should also just get a plant box as well. Ah, let's check out. That's a lot of scrap to be spending just for my farm, goddamn man. Oh yeah. And a cool turret under here to protect it all. Forget bullets this time. I know a lot of you notice. God, it's cold out here, man. I'm gonna put a garage door here. I love this skin as well, it looks great. Squeeze in another door here. The fastest way to progress as a solo is to let others do the work for you. And what I mean by this is whenever you can, try and raid. It was about time I finally got some sulfur cooking up. Right, I'm gonna need to figure out how to do this water shit. Now I didn't really have much of an idea how to properly provide water for a farm, especially one on a rooftop. But instead of watching a video, I thought it would be more fun to figure it out as I went along. Okay, no, this is definitely not going to fit up here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I didn't know how big that thing was. Okay, I might have to put it down at the bottom. For some reason, that's the only place I can actually fit it. Okay. I assume I'm going to need that pump to send the water from down here up to the sprinklers. Hopefully this goes smoothly. Alright, so if I put this to the splitter and then put each end to a sprinkler, maybe that works? I'll worry about switches and stuff later, I just want to get the water going. Okay, so it's on. Why is no water coming out? Oh, I knew something would go wrong, man. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I probably spent about 15 minutes trying to figure out where I went before realizing I actually needed to power the pump to get it up to the roof. And after definitely not watching a video and realizing how stupid I'd been, I finally got the system right. Oh, it's working! Oh, 
can't believe that whole time I just used to power the fucking pump. I'm such a dummy. Because of how inefficient water catches are, I decided to turn off the system and let it build up water for a few hours. In the meantime, I tried to run Sewer Branch again. Well, it looks unlooted. Fingers crossed. Oh my god. This is the first time this whole wipe sewer has been unleashed. This is a miracle. Gotta get some good crates now. Damn, I don't see any military crates and that's sad. Oh, what's a catcher? Well, not the best crates, but at least I got a blue. Just gotta get home now. Okay, I think I'm gonna go try and run power plant now. And with the blue key card now acquired, I headed straight for power plant to get my hands on the red. Power plant was a good few grids away, so the journey was going to take a while. Alright, time to start my long trek. It'd be a miracle if I don't die. I really wish they hadn't nerfed horses, man. Miss being able to just find them on the road. I've actually never lost a power plant before. Let's see what kind of crates we get. I, I really have no idea. Uh, uh, not fantastic. Two milk crates, two brown crates. Train yard's definitely better. There is a recycler in here though, which is kind of cool. Okay, quite a lot of scrap actually. Yeah, well, I've got a red. I guess I can try and do launch. With my luck, I can guarantee to get some shit loot from launch site, though. And finally, after all that traveling, it was time to take the red card and run launch site with the hopes of getting some high-tiered loot. Okay, and there's a crate, which means it's probably unlooted. Alright, fingers crossed for something good. I'd like maybe an AK, or a Bolty, or a C4 actually, or a Rocket. Even an armored door I'd take, to be honest. Okay, here goes. Brown crates first. Hey, it's actually quite a good crate. Alright. And the first one... A double barrel. Actually, the 45 high is pretty good, but the double barrel, fuck me. Uh, okay. Oh, what is that? Garbage. Bro! Uh, okay, that is some terrible loot. I got a ladder hatch and a... I don't even know what that is. Useless launch site, honestly. I don't even care if I get camped. <laughs> well, at least I got a, another large water catcher. Exactly what I want from my elite crate.
Do a little bit of honeycombing. You never know when someone might try and raid me. I'd like to think no one would no one would want to raid a humble tea farmer, but you never quite know. Depends who I piss off. And after a successful day, it was time to seal the bunker and head off for the night. I had big plans of berry growing the next day, and I'd be up early for it. I just had to hope that I didn't get offline. Hey, unrated. Still got build proof. Love to see it. Open up the bunker with the neat little design. Glad I filled up my furnaces. Oh, look at all that water. I'm going to be able to grow so much today. Got a full thing of water. Ah, I'm going to need light and heat though. There is so much stuff you've got to do to have a successful farm. It feels like a lot of effort, I'm not going to lie. But we have light. There we go. All of the things are slightly high. I could also do with fertilizer. You know what? 70% overall happiness will do. I don't get any more than that. I'm really intrigued to see just like how many berries and cloth I can grow. And while waiting patiently for my seeds to grow, with the sulfur smelted from yesterday, I crafted up some explosives to hit a neighboring base. Right, I'm gonna go check out that old 2x2 down there. Well, it looks like someone's already blown through, I would assume a wooden door. I think I'm gonna do it. Whoa. Not really expecting too much loot, so I'll just... I won't bring anything for TC. Alright. Let's see what we can get. Two duds. Oh my god, I see a tier two. Yo! This... Okay. Oh, no weapons. Ooh, sulfur, nice. I'd come to the raid unprepared. Not expecting there to be this much loot, I hadn't brought a replacement tool cupboard or explosives to blow out theirs. Instead of waiting around too long for the inevitable counter, I grabbed the best components and ran home as fast as I could. What the fuck? That is a lot of components. Wow. 16 tech trash? My gosh, those guys are farmers. Right, I need to get back to the OTC. Oh man, there are already counters here. That was a whiff. Oh, he's MP5. I hate fighting MP5. It's so strong. Oh, that's one guy dead. Just gotta deal with this guy. Oh, he saw me. Oh, I just get dropped so fast. Have to run back. It's kind of risky, but. Ooh, okay, I 
guess MP5 outranges a fucking ASX M39, my gosh. Alright, let's see if we can get into TC. I'm lucky those guys didn't finish TC. Oh! Okay. That is a lot of high fall. That's almost worth four satchels, I think. Possibly ever. My base now. Pray I don't die on my way home. Well, very worth. Always raid when you can. We need more storage. Got no room. I barely even farmed any stone either. Oh! The plants are growing! Oh, this is amazing! I love it! Can't harvest them yet though. Someone probably camping in here. There always is. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> that guy was invisible, I swear. That hazmat skin. OP, man. I'm not letting him get away with that. I gotta go back. All the grub. Oh. Oh my god, I think that's him. That is so lucky, he ran past me! He could have gone in any direction after launching, after leaving the launch site, that's crazy luck. My farm was not yet self-sufficient, and I was running low on cloth, so I ran out with the intention of looking for bears. Oh my god, finally a bear! That only took me running five squares. Okay, I guess I can't even get a bear! Oh man, I think it's just two. I reckon I can take these guys if they push me. I just won that, even with that frame drop. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Bro, some dummies, when they just double you solos. Thank you for the kits. Whoa, he had wood for me as well. What a generous man. Oh, I went out for cloth. Got myself some seeds as well. Finally got a bear. Craft some oil grid. While roaming near launch site, I came across an active looking solo base. It was also in the same direction that Infiltrator, the grub, had been running earlier. I thought it might have been him and I wanted to give it the chance, so I went home and crafted some satchels. I think four satchels. It's Infiltrator again with a double barrel. That has to be his base. I'm certain. I gotta be so careful. The massive group behind me. They'll be here so fast, I guarantee it. 
live right there. Fuck! God damn it, man. I was not expecting a shotgun trap. Oh, that timing! Unfortunately, a group that lived nearby had stolen my raid due to some bad timing. By the time I was back with my double barrel, they'd managed to seal. But I wasn't going to give up that easy. I waited it out. Oh, I have to camp this. That is so annoying they stole my raid, man. Because of a shotgun trap. There's no way they don't see me. The door has a hole in it. They must see me. Oh, he's low. Oh shit, they've got a guy on the roof. Of course they do. Oh, just fucking exploded. Oh, I'm gonna bleed out. I've just gotta go. I've just gotta run. Oh, oh he's still roof camping. Oh my god, I was getting door camps? Infiltrator again. Yes, I may have missed out on a lot of loot. But when you're being pinned by an M249 from the roof, and you're 5 health and bleeding, you've got to grab what you can and get out of there. I felt less bad about losing the raid, since I managed to steal some valuable goods back. Oh. That's a screenshot moment right there. Look at that! I've got a farm! I was a beamer. Didn't have a chance. Damn, almost 2k scrap. Time for a tier 3. Hell yeah. Progression. Kind of low on coal. Oh, I think my farm is ready to be harvested. I'm intrigued about how much uh, stuff I get from this. I don't really know what to take clones of either. This feels very rewarding. Fourteen reds, five blues, not bad. I'm just gonna go. That's just so satisfying, man. I love it. Oh, where was that guy? Disrupting the peace. You loot it. <laughs> Stick the same. No, you! You have it. Take the loot. <laughs> I 
there could be loot in here actually. Hmm. Not a whole lot, but I mean, it's okay. actually go around to doing some farming. I've been uh, procrastinating that for a while now, I'm not gonna lie. I got some metal ore. Some armored windows down in here. It's time to build my top, top roof. Now, in order to build a tea business, you have to actually be able to sell the tea. Which meant I needed to build a vending machine and put it on my roof. And with that, Wiljam's Tea is open for business. I love this base design, man. It's so cool. Ooh, they're on the hill. Take it as well. Fucking wolf, man. No. Giving away my position. Oh, this is perfect timing to go night. One more. That's the AK, though. I need to heal. Just got no idea. I think that's it. Get loaded. He had a car key, but I have no idea where his car is. Fuck it, I'm, I'm gone. Easy, AK. Farmers can get guns. Who knew? Who knew? Cloth is growing. Let's see just how much cloth I can get from a few uh, from a few bushes. Close your eyes. Get some rest. Oh wow! I got over 500 cloth. <laughs> that's actually that's actually pretty worthwhile. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of expecting to get like 200. Damn. Right, it's time to start growing some berries though, if I'm going to be making tea. If I sell one tea in my vending machine, I will be a happy man. Oh, this is so satisfying, man, I love it. Rust is fun when you play like this, I'm not going to lie. I ran launch one more time with the hopes of getting some slightly better loot than last time. Can't exactly be worse than last. All right. I mean, another double barrel. <laughs> Come on, man. I feel like I get double barrels more than anything else. Crossbow, what the fuck, man? <laughs> this game. Oh, bro. Just so bad. It's like on the rocket launcher, that's pretty cool there. Hey, we got the wind turbine. Pick some berries.
Nice. Got a bunch of blues from that, which is good. I was running a bit low. I might try and incorporate farms into more of my base designs in the future. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I got a lot of berries. I can definitely make some teas soon. my roof just in case. I'm gonna start making some teas finally. I feel like the things that would sell are max health teas and maybe far and like wood and ore teas. I reckon. I feel like the farming ones will be most popular though. I'll just make- I'll make one advanced max health. Well, I don't know if any of you guys actually watched my first tea video, like, probably over a year ago now, where I tried to, uh, farm tea. And it, did, it didn't go very well. I'm already doing better than that time, which feels good. I've actually made some tea. Which, uh, is, is more than I did last time. I mean, last time I managed to build the farm, but I never was actually able to, uh, to farm the tea because I'm a bit of an idiot, but uh, oh well. I'm not sure what sort of prices I should charge. I think I'll charge in high quality because I do kind of need high quality. Maybe high quality on scrap. I'll sell it for that. Uh, Wiljam's tea. No one's actually going to think it's me, because I wouldn't call myself Wiljum, so I don't think it's going to bring any attention to my base, to be honest. Ah, uh, sealed the base. They did leave a horse here, though, which is, uh, <laughs> mine now. Thank you very much. Oh, I might be able to, uh, run outpost now. with the last bullet. Oh, that's lucky. He had a horse as well. Thank you for the farm. Having this horse safe meant that I was finally going to be able to run to outpost with some stone and build myself a compound. So, I grabbed a couple rows of stone and headed over. Without this horse, outpost runs would be impossible, it is so far. I mean, that took me like five minutes on a horse that can go at 60 miles an hour. Alright, now I gotta run all the way home again. Hey! It's almost time for a compound. Oh god, I never thought I'd actually get around to that this white, but it's happening. The ruins of my miserable neighbor's base still remained. I had to clear the TC before I could build my compound. Feels good to these annoying weeds still covered. Eh, scuff, but it'll do. While building my compound, I heard a raid going off close by. I finished the walls and headed straight over. That raid's actually really close. Oh yeah, I'm going to that after I see all this. Ah! Oh! What the fuck, Yogi? Pretty scuff shaped compound, but oh well, it'll do. Right, 
time to go counter that if I can. Oh, it's right here. Oh shit, there's a guy here. No, don't go. We can work together. He's on board, this is good. I can't really trust him though, you can never trust a naked, but uh... I won't give away our position just yet. Oh, if only I had more than a custom right now. Hey bro, we, we stay here, they're gonna come back for sure. We just gotta wait, stay wait, here. Wait, stay here? The, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Will, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is two more tourists. Yeah, we got this. Back. Do we have a good spray? Yes, sir. With custom? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Nice. I can bait and you kill them from behind. Hell yeah. With my new ally basing from one side, I sat patiently by the rock. They would be back with more rockets. They are coming. Oh, bro, this is so cool. Oh. I will be so happy if this works, man. If this plan comes together and this naked doesn't betray me. This could be awesome. It will restore my faith. It's one dead. One more. I'm facing! Oh, what a hero! Got him, he's low. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead! Nice bro, you, you are the best. <laughs> well, maybe they're coming back. I'm gonna pick him up. Let's go, let's go. Okay, there's an MP5 quickly, quickly. on the hill. Run up the hill. I can't believe that worked. What a fucking hero, man. I think an auto turret will be okay here. Come on, see you creating. Go check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna steal this guy's raid. I'm just gonna wait until he blows open the door. This is so grubby. Oh, that's the wood. <laughs> Easy sulfur, let's go. It's a shame there's that tier one there though. I think that was him. Fucking grot, you 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 suck bro. <laughs> this guy's so unhappy. Oh, there's no way. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, he's gonna be so mad. Oh, poor guy. Wasn't that much loot. I'm just gonna put my random stuff in this box up here. I'm kind of running out of room in any other places. Is that some more tea? Get some more wood teas crafted. Okay, I get one more advanced. I 
just get some basics to go with it, I think. Oh! I sold a tea! <laughs> I sold a wood tea! It's a miracle! I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the price since it's sold. I, I, I run a successful tea business now. What the fuck? Wait, what the hell? Something sold already? It's probably the workbench, actually. That thing would have gone fast. Yeah, it was the workbench. They've just got revies. Oh wow, that was a lot of scrap on that one guy. Ooh. Oh wow, he just double headshot me, what a bit- THERE'S A BEAR! Oh my word! Oh, this guy's just got lasered. That felt good. That's an explode on him. Oh, look at that. Feels good, man. Fully grown farm again. I'm just gonna pick them all. Oh wow. Bro, I just got 430 cloth from only one, like, planter box. That is so good. I didn't get that many berries that time, actually. They didn't give me as many. Oh well. While roaming, someone started to take Bradley with rockets. I headed straight over. Little did I know that these people would end up being quite important in my wipe. See what I can do. I might lose the LR, but it could be worthwhile. That guy's good. Fuck it. <laughs> Guy just got tripled. Fuck, he saw me. Wow! Okay, that guy's good. That guy's really good with that. Split second decisions can have huge impacts in Rust. And when I heard footsteps outside my base, I had no idea just what I was getting myself into. Oh, wow. That was an M2. Oh, fuck! What have I done? I need my kit. God, I was crafting rockets to take Bradley. Holy shit, that's good timing. Ah, oh, the rocket launcher didn't finish though. I'm gonna get that crafted first. I need to get that crafted really fast. How do I take on that M2? Oh man, that guy is good. I peaked for a second. Where's my body? Oh, you're kidding. Come on, man, that's wasted so much time. There's no way. I really died to my flame turret. Dead by my own flamethrower. This was not a good start to the raid. This has been the worst luck possible, man. Oh, fuck! Well, I killed one. I'm trying to seal if I can. 
That'd be fast. Oh, let's go. Another dead. If I can seal that. Oh. These guys have so many rockets. I think this is it here. I have to make this play. No, the M2's won! I thought I killed him. Bro, how did he not die? Fuck, man. So close. There you go. I found you. Oh, it's one HP again, bro. I'm gonna try the flank again. Man, I whip. I think that's it for me, unfortunately. Such a waste of the first five minutes with all that bad luck, though, man. Fuck. And with that final death, I knew that was me done for the raid. There wasn't really a lot more I could do. I ran back and I ended up being really chill, and I was definitely grateful for the online. They were clearly heading off for the wipe, and I hadn't expected them to have so many rockets, but there you go. Yeah, hey, well, GG yeah, boys, go thank you for the close, online. I do appreciate close it. Close the gate. Not gonna lie, I wasn't We there. went to go online, a different base, and then our mini heli got slammed by a uh, stamp site. Um, I yeah. just roamed over from uh, <laughs> from the base we we're getting raided over here. Well, with all yeah. the, I mean, as I said, I was when I was shot you, I was not expecting you to have like fifty thousand fucking rockets <laughs> on you, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't- I hadn't really planned for that, I'm not gonna lie. You had a lot. Bro, at that point when I got you both to like 2 HP, I was yeah, so annoyed when I died that. And it. Yeah, fucking whiff. I was super low as well. Yeah. When I killed you here, yeah, I was 17 HP I was HP confused I didn't die, I thought you would. I think this loot brings too much power to anyone that finds it. I feel like it's only right that this stuff gets despawned. For the good of the server, no one should find this much loot. Well, that was fun, boys. Was fun, I appreciate it. Us, Have a good one. See ya, man. And that was it for my wipe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. As of recording this audio, I have just hit 300,000 subscribers, which is absolutely phenomenal, and I cannot thank you all enough. Even bigger thank you to all of my patrons, and make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. I promise to keep uploading bangers. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Wiljam, out.